There we go. Okay, it works so much better when the microphone is on, but there's a lot of people in the building, so I had to... Anyways, so I hope you're all well. Welcome to my stream. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I'm Pierre, your host. I hope you're all doing well. Let me just bring this camera up just a whisker here. I need to be a little low. There we go. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. And <laughs> I am laughing because uh, my building that I'm in was built in the 17th century. And everything in this building is totally crooked. Nothing is level. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here and let's see what I can do here. Fix things for crying out loud. Well, I can't fix it like that. How about if I do this? So that's a pain in the butt. What's going on here? Everything. I haven't been in the studio in a couple weeks. Took some time off. And apparently, I kind of forgot how everything works here. So. That seems to be a lot better. There we go. So I'm sorry about that, folks. But anyways, that's the way live TV goes, right? You have to make uh, always these little quirks that you have to iron out. So anyways, my friends, uh, once again, we're going to start off. Like I said, I took a couple of weeks off. I've been uh, working like, uh, you know, like in a factory. And I've been, and that's not the way to create art. I needed a break from the studio. After all, I've been in the studio for like 18 years, doing the same thing almost every day, every week. And uh, I just got, uh, had, was fed up, needed uh, a break. So that's what I did. I took a couple of weeks off and it feels great. It feels great to be back as well. So before we start our day, let's go over to the computer and let's check out what we did last time we were in the studio, okay? So what did we do last time? I have a little recap here. It's going to be good to refresh my own memory. Well, actually, we just started this new painting. That's what we did. So we measured it off, added the first coat of uh, pink. Then we added a second coat of pink, which I didn't bother to film. And then what are we going to do today? Well, today, basically, we're just going to add a little bit of shadowing to the background of this painting. So uh, it's going to be a very short stream. And we're just going to do, put down a little bit of light pink, a little bit of darker pink, just to give it some depth, some richness. So let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and do this. I can't wait to get back into uh, the painting mode of everything. So let me start off. I guess I'm going to start off with the lighter pink. And when I put the darker pink, I'm going to be very careful because I want it to be a very subtle uh, change. And uh, there is that always that factor that when acrylic dries, it has a tendency to darken. So I have to like kind of juggle things around and make sure I get the right hue. So thinking in advance how it's going to look once it dries, knowing that it's going to darken. So I'm going to have to be aware of all that. So anyways, so let's, uh, let's get some pink paint. I'm not going to need all that much, I don't think. Let's uh, keep our materials clean. So let me just wipe off my knife. There we go. And I'm going to add a little bit of white paint. There we go. Just a little bit of white paint. There we go. That also, I don't want it to be too light either. So we are going to have to juggle with all that as well. So what paintbrush am I going to use for this? I think I'll be using this one. So I'll just put that to soak. It'll give me a few seconds to clean off my my knife. Whew. All right. 
breathe in. There, so I added just a little bit of the white paint. I don't see much of the difference, but obviously there is. So let me just work this with some water, make it a little bit more pleasant to work with. There we go. So let's see what this does. So before we tackle that, I'll bring over camera number one a little closer. I always start on the upper left hand corner and work my way down because I'm right handed. So to avoid having my hand in the paint, I usually start in that upper left hand corner, which is what I'm going to do. So let's go over to camera number one. And let's try this. So you can see it's a little bit lighter, which is just fine. This is exactly what we want. There we go. So let me zoom in a little bit more, maybe like that. I won't be in the way. I'll even move the camera over to make sure I'm not in front of the lens. I hate that. So, just add a little bit of shadowing, just like that. There's going to be so much stuff on top of this that you won't even notice it. It will be totally subconscious that this will be seen. There we go. Just like that. Bring that right down in the corner. Okay, so I'm moving faster than the camera. <laughs> I have to get back in the groove here. Get back in the groove of painting live. And in color. So let's just add a little more here. With the reflection of the window, it looks very shiny. But I know all this is going to darken a little bit as it dries. And I think it's going to look quite nice. I'm not really painting as you can tell. I'm just dabbing, dabbing on this paint. Just dabbing it on like that. Just to give it some sort of like a cloud-like. Just like a cloud-like feeling. So let's come on down here before I forget. There we go. Again, there's going to be plants and leaves, and I think the entire painting is going to be tilted the other way. So, we will see as we go along. So, let's move this baby over, like, right in here. Just like that. It's really... Not that complicated, very simple stuff. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. So, 
I can see already, let's go over here, I can see already this area which I did at the beginning is already as it's drying, darkening and blending in a lot better. So that's pretty good. That's kind of what we wanted. So let me bring camera number one back over here, up in this corner for the next step. As we come back over here. And our next step is just to add a little magenta make the whole thing a little bit darker. Like I mentioned, this is going to be a short stream again. There we go. And this too, I'm going to want it to be very discreet. So I'm going to just grab a little bit of this. And let me bring this over here. And let's do this together here. So. There's the magenta, and I'm just going to mix a little bit of it with our pink that we have. See, that magenta is way too dark, so I want it to be a lot lighter. And that should do it right there, you know, just a little bit darker than what we had. So the best way to figure that out is maybe just to try it on the canvas. So let's do that. Let's go right up in here where I'm going to zoom in in the area I'm going to be painting right here and see if this is going to be a little bit darker. Not much. It still looks a little light. So I am going to come back down here. And I'm going to add a little more of this magenta. Make a little more. There we go. Wow, this looks pretty good right here. Now, let me make sure it's all nicely blended in, nice and homogenous. There we go. Okay, so let's come on back up here. Let's zoom in a little bit more, see what we're doing. I'll go back on top of what... I just did. And this is just a little bit darker. Not much, but just a little bit. And that is kind of what we want. We want this whole thing to have like different shades, even though a lot of this is going to be hidden from what goes on top, but still. Just want to give it a little bit of depth. There we go. I'll bring this over like that. I told you this was going to be a short stream and I was not lying. We we're just about done. Just like that. Just a little bit here like that. Again, most of this stuff I think is going to be covered by plants and details and whatnot, little planets, little rings, a lot of stuff going on. Let's bring this over like that. Just a little bit here. And I guess we can move over to a little bit right in here maybe. Just, just a few dabs here and there. And just to be discreet, just to add a little... Just to give it a little bit of texture, some depth. Where is my color? There it is. Okay. There we go. And that's it. All right, so
Well, I mentioned this would be a short stream and there you have it. So we're going to have to let this dry and then tomorrow we will tackle uh, the next phase of our painting. But anyways, once again, wonderful to be back in the studio. I want to thank you very much for joining me. And uh, I'm going to leave you like I always do with two things. The first one is my schedule. And the second one is by saying, ciao mes amis.